we're going to test this battery out. What is this, a Toyota? It's a Toyota van? Mm -hmm. All right. So as with all things, uh, we got us here a battery. It's a Group 24, 582 amps, regular, uh, regular fluid battery. So we got the amps and everything on here. But as you can see, we got a lot of garbage on here. So we're going to test it. And then, of course, I'm going to go ahead and clean these terminals up here also. But first thing we want to do, of course, is hook it up to the terminal here for positive. And then we'll hook up the negative. If I can get a bite on it. There we go. Well, it looks like we got some good voltage. As you can see, 12.9, uh, which, by the way, is a little bit better than... Uh, you can't really see it too good. There we go. Okay, 12.95, roughly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a battery test. So I'm going to hit Enter, and we're going to do battery test. And that's what it says for the battery. And then it's an SL1. So we're going to do that, and the CCA we got to input, which is uh, 582. So we got to go up to 582, but we can't really get 82 out of it. So we'll just do a 580 and uh, go from there, and we'll hit enter. And we got 435, which tells us that the uh, battery is failed we got a system error on here and a fail uh, basically that's because of the battery amperage is there so what I'll do is I'll disconnect this here real quick and we'll try it at a higher amount so we'll test the battery again and we'll SL1 cold cranky naps and we'll up the amperage to 590 and do a test to see if we get an error on there and the battery has failed. Okay, 434, which tells us we're down uh, 150 cranking amps on this. Connections and all that, as far as uh, So key, think mm -hmm. this will fix it? I think so. <laughs> you think so? Mm -hmm. I don't know. The Are battery's sure? weak. Mm -hmm. But this might help. Yep. It's an old battery. What year is this? Uh-huh. What year is this? This this car? Yeah. 2011. 2011. This battery's probably done. I think so. But never hurts actually clean things up a little bit. What's that? This is neutralizer. And it neutralizes all the acid. See that pink stuff? Mm -hmm. That's acid that it's neutralizing. So I'll clean all that up. Gets all that acid neutralized so it doesn't keep working on destroying everything. Mm -hmm. Clean that up. What's that? This is dielectric grease for electrical connections. Mm -hmm. And what it'll do is it'll help prevent mm -hmm. any more battery boogers as we say. get that taken care of. Now we'll pry this one. Let's 
see that. Mm -hmm. That probably doesn't help you either. Spray a little bit more of that on there. Because that's nasty. See how that turns red? That red signifies acid. So we don't want acid. do is we'll use this, clean that up a little bit, to fish that out. That was the top to this. <laughs> I think we got her. Apparently this is the only way we're gonna get it back. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other way to get it. The other one. My goodness. There we go. Good job. You got it? <laughs> All right, we'll put it up there. That, that yep. way it don't go anywhere. I think we're done with that. A little bit of dielectric grease on there. Mm -hmm. See if we can't get a better connection out of it here for you. Spread that on there. Keep the uh, keep the system going anyway. Okay, let's put something back together then.
Okay. Let's see if we can get this one tightened up. All righty. <laughs> See, you can fix your van with a broomstick handle. <laughs> Let's see what we get out of this thing now. Twelve point eight seven. So we got twelve point eight seven on here. And we want to do a test. Battery SL one, cold cranking amps. Uh, 585. Okay, so it's 421, uh, which is going down. So that's not what we're looking for. So let's do cold crank test. System check, crank. Yeah, it still says charge. You got a weak battery. So, moral of the story on this, your battery's bad. <laughs> oh, no. So, need to get a new battery. Okay. And uh, it's not going to do any good. It's an old battery anyway. So, mm -hmm. the best bet to do is get the battery. Uh, the one thing that you can do, just depend where you want to go. Mm -hmm. uh, they can look up the type of battery you need for your van mm -hmm. and then uh, once they're done looking that up they'll give you choices. Now I don't know how long you're going to want to do this but get get like a three year battery warranty mm -hmm. type mm -hmm. battery mm -hmm. because quite frankly if you buy a five or a six mm -hmm. you, do you know if you're going to have this van in six years? I don't know. <laughs> so, get a three year. See okay. where you're at. It's mm -hmm. cheaper. Mm -hmm. uh, but get the strongest cranking amp battery mm -hmm. you can. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do is go to Auto Parts Store. Mm -hmm. And if you buy the battery from them, like at O'Reilly's, AutoZone, or any place like that, mm -hmm. uh, they will install it for you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so mm -hmm. uh, that's all you got to do is just decide what battery. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't let them talk you into getting a five or a six year battery. Just tell them you want a three year battery and you want to have uh, as many cold cranking amps as what you got now. Okay. So, you know, you'll be good. But you'll get a new battery and the sooner the better because this Ooh, one no. ain't going to make it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Phil, thank you. Okay. All righty. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.